Speed ramping is one of those things that, when you do it right, just look incredible. In this video tutorial, we are gonna have a look at how to do speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve 17. For those who don't know what speed ramp is, let me explain. Speed ramp is when you take high frame rate footage and rather than slowing it down for some slow motion, you also speed it up. This way you can achieve a really cool cinematic look. Of course, with some small efforts, we are going to achieve a really nice result. So let's hop into DaVinci Resolve. We are in DaVinci Resolve 17 in edit page. So first thing first, we're gonna import from media pool the clip that we want. So we will put it on the timeline. So close media pool and we have to decide where to put our first speed point. So we're gonna put it like here. Yeah, that's the spot that we would like. So just mark the clip, right click, go to retain control, or you can use it also control R and press on it. So we're gonna put the speed point here. So you can see here, small arrow. So this is drop down and go to add speed point. So we have add one. So we have to decide it uh, when uh, we would like to end this effect. So we're gonna end it somewhere here. So we go again to, to this small arrow and we add another speed point. So we have three sections of this clip. So it's the first, middle and the end section. So we would like that first section uh, would be fast, the middle one slow and the end section fast as well. So how are we gonna do that? So we go into this small arrow, press on it and go to change speed. We're gonna go to 400%. So we will speed it up and uh, we will leave it at the time uh, this one, uh, and go to the end of the clip and just press it 400 as well. And the middle one, we will slow it down and we will slow it down on 50%. So what we have done till now, let's check. So fast, slow and fast again. It's a bit choppy, but uh, we're gonna solve this as well. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna right click the mouse, go to Retime Curve. We're gonna lift this a little bit that we're gonna get some space. And go to, on the left hand side corner, you see a small arrow, just press on it and you will see the option that we have on this. So just uncheck Retime Frame and check Retime Speed. So this way we're gonna see basically the speed that we have. We decide the first part of the clip, it will be 400. So the slower one, 50% of the speed and 400 as well for the last one. So those two first and last, they are four times faster than the original speed. So this one is half of the speed of the original clip. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press this uh, circle or, or dot and go to this sign here, press it and pull the leverage, go to the other one, press on the dot, go to the left one as well. So, and press a little bit more that we just get this nice smooth effect. So what we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do, we, Press Control F and see what we have done. So it's a bit better, but you can still see a small glitters or some, it's not so smooth. So let's do another thing. So we will close those things, all of them. 
and we're gonna go to inspector so in inspector you're gonna find on the end time and scaling so time process you will go to drop menu and click on optical flow uh, also you need to go to motion estimation and open the drop down menu and don't go to speed uh, warp because it will stop your computer you can do it uh, before you uh, uh, export the, the video but for the time being it will be good to enhance better so this way we can see what we have done uh, with that uh, tool so let's go back computer is still rendering this we can press ctrl f to see the full screen and go and see what we have done so this is really nice effect that we can see that it's smooth and it's really uh, something else. It's smooth, fast, and yeah, that's it. So this effect is uh, really cool. It's easy to make. And what we can do now is uh, basically we can do another things. Usually I'm not finished with, with uh, those things. So to prepare the clip, we can still add a few things. Go to effect library, go to effects, grab the adjustment clip, put it on the top. Just uh, do the same length of the clip with, the, with that tool. So go to inspector and go to cropping so put the play hat on the beginning so keyframe those two and just put it 100 or any other number that you prefer so we're gonna do the black bars as well So that looks professional it's really really nice so but it's still we have still one more option to to do go to open FX go to uh, stylize so and grab tilt shift blur and put it in the adjustment clip go to inspector go to effects and you have tilt shift blur here so what we can do now, because the main thing is her hair. So we have to decide it and see uh, where to focus the, the blur. So we, we will lift it a little bit or we, we will open a little bit. So we will lift it with that one. And we can definitely try it and see what we have done let's close this let's close this and play through that's it's really nice i like it let's go to full screen and uh, her hair are basically the main feature in this video hope this video was useful if it was, hit like button. If you have got any comment or feedback, leave comment below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this. Have a great last day of 2020. Wish you a really happy new year. Try to enjoy it despite coronavirus. See you all in 2021. Until then, have a good one.